सो है गाइज टूडे वी आर बैक विद अनदर वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो एज यू नो फ्रॉम द टाइटल इज अबाउट हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट योर जर्नी विद द रिसर्च पेपर्स इन द डेटा साइंस एम एल फील्ड सो द मेजोरिटी ऑफ दिस वीडियो विल बी फोकस्ड ऑन एग्जैक्टली हाउ यू रीड अ पेपर एंड एट द एंड आई विल ट्राई टू टैकल द प्रॉब्लम दैट विच मेथड इज बेस्ट आई यूजली यूज एंड इट कैन एक्चुअली वेरी ऑन द प्रेफरेंस दैट यू गाइज हैव द सेटअप दैट यू गाइज चूज बट yeah maybe after the the video will you will have a clear mindset that exactly which method is best for you okay so let's get started though so the first thing as you can see in the video is attention is all you need right and we all know that attention is all you need is the first paper uh, that we all get introduced to when we start our journey towards large language models so if if uh, you ask me that how i usually read papers i usually used to uh, you know download the papers and then read it but the second method that i adopted is i usually you know take the printouts of the paper i highlight all the things here and then i proceed but if you if you see here right if you are reading a paper the first thing that you need to do is uh, if you are pretty new to this field you need to have the basic knowledge of the terms let's say you should be familiar with neural networks you should be familiar with blue score you should be familiar with concepts of uh, what exactly is attention before this because attention is not uh, is not a concept that is all introduced only in this paper right it existed from before so some basic terminology must be known and if you read the abstract right from the abstract itself you can you know get to know a lot of information because it highlights the whole paper and you can even get to know that what exactly to uh, the results show here so if you see here they are saying that our model achieves 28.4 blue on WMT 2014 English to German translation task. They have already told in the abstract that we are outperforming others, and that motivates you to read further that how they were able to do it. Now, if you see here and you see background and model architecture, these are pretty complex things. But you know, when you start reading a paper, there are instances when you don't actually get a one concept, and then you jump to another, and then you don't understand that concept, and you jump to another. but usually this loop is uh, helping you to you know get to know a lot of new things so what i would recommend is if that particular thing let's say they are giving some examples of let's say byte net here byte net is essential but let's say that was not, uh, not a very important example here you guys can just note down you guys can open the link of this reference paper in the in another tab and make sure that once you're done reading this paper you guys can go and read that paper other thing is if that is too much related to the current paper right then what you can do you can read that particular paper first and then come back to the current paper so that that is one thing that you can do now third is model architecture and here comes the complex part right uh, some mathematical stuff will also start from here if you see uh, uh, some ma maths is coming and if you go down a proper mathematics doesn't exist in this paper fortunately for a lot of beginner people but we know papers right like i have the paper rope right this rope paper i would open here also now this rope paper is particularly fa famous for the contribution it has made towards you know the the, the you know the results that you get from embeddings and if you see the concept that they came right rotary position embeddings the awesome concept that you know at a single point you can actually change the you know direction and theta and that will actually help you you know get better results is actually awesome and if you go into the mathematics you will realize you know it keeps becoming more more and more complex if you see here then if you need to understand that why exactly this thing is happening here one thing is you can directly come to the conclusion okay they did some derivation and they you know came to this concept but if you don't understand that uh, that you want to deep dive then you can come here to the proper derivation part now this derivation of rope under 2d now it's i actually would leave this choice to you if you are a proper mathematical guy who wants to actually go deep dive into every single derivation you can definitely go what i usually prefer is if that concept is actually you know very useful I, for me that i can learn something new let's say uh, and i know most of the methods let's say chain rule derivation integration most of the concepts i know and i think you guys also know then you guys can take the you know a step that okay i can go towards the derivation part more complex mathematical part but if you guys think that okay it's fine for me to not understand very deep dive into every single concept it's completely fine you can skip that but what i would recommend is in most of the parts 
it is important and if you guys can go and learn that particular concept and apply that and learn it it is going to be very beneficial for you for the future papers also now uh, how to read these long paper right if you see this llama 2 paper it is a 77 page paper out of these 77 which i can i am pretty much sure that the last 20 pages are of references only so it's around 50 pages you can say and i think sometimes i would recommend if you are fine with it i usually you know uh, don't uh, focus on the part this you know ethical consideration and uh, biasness and everything these are important this safety evaluation of llama 2 chart sometimes uh, these things can be skipped even though i would say these are important uh, these diversity and everything are important but what i would say is the main concept that you need to learn is that how they achieve these good results and then you need to come up with this concepts of kv cache and you know sliding window tension these you will find in mixtel paper llama 2 papers and these are the actual concepts that you are looking for right these diversity bias and everything you guys can uh, go and find at a lot of blogs you don't need to focus here right so yeah that that is one thing then you have uh, that how to you know maintain a focus towards reading such long papers go step by step because the papers are also written in the format that even if a person who is not that much you know uh, into this particular uh, field they must be able to understand it right that is the reason they give references that even if you don't know a concept that author who created this concept deserved a you know call and you can also go and learn from them so both things are happening simultaneously now if you say training details hyper parameters and everything these graphs and everything i would you know request you guys to focus on these because these are very important things you can learn a lot from these because if you see here uh, the pre training part right they are telling that how exactly they did pre training which data set they took what pre you know pre training for for data set preparation what pre processing they did and results are obviously important fine tuning part you can see the type of prompt they are using so, you know you will learn a lot quality is all you need i think there is a paper from microsoft you guys know about textbooks are all you need that paper is one of the greatest paper i have read because it proves right you don't need that much amount of data quality is all you need right so in that case you need to focus on every line that they have written okay and sometimes you will find uh, some information in a single line which is more important than the whole paper itself so yeah that is one thing now uh, coming to the part that uh, you know what is the end procedure so if you go to the results right you will find a lot of things there i think if even if i go to attention they are giving machine translation and everything and at the end conclusion so this is very important because sometimes they also have a section called uh, our future work i think in reformer they have the what future work they are coming up with so if you are interested even you can start working on that right you can contact the others and you can also contribute to that the limitations on work and what they are planning for the future they are saying that we are not able to come up with a particular explanation that can satisfy the readers so you can work on that you can also contribute from your side and even you can if you have, you know want to collaborate you can contact the others and say that you know i want to collaborate on this work and you guys can also contribute but i think 90% of you people who are watching this video won't be going to that side so i think that was it for uh, the concluding part and references i have already told you and in some papers appendix is very important i think even in llama 2 paper we have some appendix and it contains a lot of vital information because uh, if we go down yeah so if you see the contribution and every acknowledgement is one thing then you have ha yeah how architecture ch changes compared to llama 1 context length group retention query now this concept is very important if you see group retention query is a very important concept that they have explained in this appendix so it's very important for a user to uh, for a reader to you know focus on the appendix section especially if they have mentioned it in the tasks right the tasks that they were describing in the above section they have mentioned it so yeah and don't get scared by seeing the length of the paper now if you see 77 right out of 77 i am on 47th page and still we have already caused the references section so appendix contains the long, most of the paper actually the appendix is more long than the original paper and you don't need to read every part i would say not every part is relevant by uh, for for a you know a new by or let's say intermediate guy but uh, yeah try to read as much as possible because that will help you a lot to improve in your skills now coming to the part which is important uh, which way is the best method right to read uh, what i would say is i usually usually used to read through a laptop only uh, i usually used to you know go through the paper make some notes in my in my uh, notebook but but what i found out uh, found is that during my session on a laptop right on my mac 
I I got stuck into a loop where I usually usually used to get distracted or let's say sometimes it happens right your eyes have that strain on them after seeing the screen for uh, for a very long time. So then I decided that I'm going to have some uh, prints of the papers and I I would say it, this method is pretty cool. Uh, if you guys especially are uh, the ones who make notes on every single thing you highlight because if you see I am the guy who usually highlight every single thing that I found important and then I I make some note at, at the same time so it's completely your choice whichever you want to use I even have got a tab where I usually make notes on my tab on the spot and highlight some important sections and tab is the place where I usually record all the videos regarding my research papers so it helps me a lot because I already have my notes and important things marked there so yeah that is one thing now coming to the places where you can find uh, uh, these research papers right how do we find the important one so one is there is some list of github resources that you can go and find you know you can search for rack papers on github you'll find a bunch of papers there starting nlp papers on github you'll find a bunch of resources there you can start with anyone now there are some twitter tw twitter ones right if you see here uh this is the post by ak right now, if you see here, you'll find a lot of people uh, who are awesome in this. I think uh, if you see AI research paper tweets, right? If you see this guy's, uh, you know, all the tweets, you'll find most of the awesome papers coming here. It's all about vision models sometimes. So, yeah. Now, second is, if you see here, AI timeline. Now, in AI timeline, right, you'll find a lot of different type of papers. Not only the ones that are... Uh, of LLMs or let's say or core ML, you'll find a paper papers which are related to vision language models or let's say M multimodal models. So yeah, you can expect that. And some good papers come here or uh, every week. Similarly, if you find find this uh, this guy named Elvis, right? He posts a lot about the current things. So yeah, that that is also one thing that you guys can go and read. So yeah, that's important. Now, if you go to daily papers by Hugging Face, you'll find a lot of good content here. Because in daily paper, you'll, you'll see that uh, the papers which are actually curated by this guy named AK, I think you can you guys can go see him. So he actually posts the paper here also. So and I think you'll see some awesome comments of people who have read the paper so you can get some reviews. And last is my YouTube channel. You guys can go and have some look on the papers that I have read. And I usually provide the link to the papers in the description, which I usually cover here. You guys can go and read that also. So yeah, and I think that was it for the video. I think most of the things are covered. And if you guys have any further doubt, you guys can ask that in the comment section. I'll try to answer uh, any doubt that comes regarding the paper section and further videos. If you have guys have any recommendation, I'll be very happy to you know work on that. So yeah, thank you and have a nice day.